you ever felt. Are you listening? Hello everyone. Uh, in today's tutorial, we see how to create a really cool uh, portrait effect that you can see in here. Uh, so we see how to create this kind of portrait uh, using just text or you know a long passages of text as you can see so we'll see how to do that using Adobe Photoshop all right fantastic so let's get to it All right, so open your Adobe Photoshop and just drag the image that you want to use. So we just use this image in here, so we open it inside Adobe Photoshop. And the first thing we do, we just crop our image. So we go to the crop tool in here and we will make it a little wider like that. You know, just to focus on the face like so. And maybe a bit like so and press enter. All right, now uh, what we want to do is just need to first uh, save uh, a displace map uh, PST so we can use it but we need to make some changes so uh, the first thing we do would apply a black and white adjustment so we go to black and white in here and we want to make it a little bit more darker so we can easily do that by bring uh, the red a little bit darker so we just slide this into the left and maybe minus 100 you know just to bring out the shadows in here and now we'll make a snapshot so uh, we can just apply this by uh, using our uh, keyboard so press ctrl or shift e and this will uh, make uh, a snapshot into a layer all right now we'll apply a blur so we we'll go to filter blur Gaussian blur and you know you can choose either 50 or 20 pixel radius it depends on you know whatever you want so we just keep it 50 pixel and press ok now we'll go to file save as and we'll save it as a display so we just make as, call it displays like that and just save it in a place that you can remember and press save it's ok now we just delete this blurred uh, layer in here now we need to apply our text so I already have uh, a text in here that I want to use it's uh, just a lorem ipsum text but you know for this uh, effect it's mostly powerful uh, when you used uh, you know some of your favorite quotes or maybe your favorite speech it will work like even better but I will just use this lorem ipsum here just for this tutorial all right now I will go to the text in here and you know I will use it as a paragraph so we just one click and drag like so and I will just right click and paste like that all right and the font uh, I'm using it's called best new I will make sure like to put a link where you can uh, download it and use it from the description below so you know, just check that out all right now uh, I will just right click and choose restorize type and go to filter uh, distort displays and you know just uh, keep it in 10 horizontal by uh, 10 vertical and in this placement map make sure in here uh, selected a stretch to fit and an, in the undefined area make sure in here set repeat edges selected and press ok now it will give you like to uh, select your paste that you save it as a displacement so we just one click and click open as you can see it will shift a little bit the text it will be a little bit in the edges in here that's how we want it now I will go to this uh, image in here and I will make a, a new layer just under it so by pressing ctrl one click it will make a, a new layer under the, the image and I will fill it with black so we press alt backspace in here and it will make it black now we will go to our text in here and I will 
one click, control one click, so I will select the text, as you can see, and I can just uncheck that, and I will go to my image in here, you know, I can just one click into the layer mask in here, and it will make it into a layer mask, as you can see, so it's easy like to do it like that, and it starts to look cool. And of course in here like we can always uh, one click or double click to this black and white and you know just make the adjustment that you want you know maybe make the red a little bit less like so I think I think it looks cool like that minus 60 all right and there you go so it's that easy to do uh, I hope that you like and you enjoyed this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorial to come and have a nice day. Thank you for watching.